Okay, if you've recently gotten um, YouTube live streaming, which if you have a thousand subscribers and you're in good standing, you can do that. You might have some setup issues. It's a little bit tricky to get it set up. So I'm going to walk, walk you through how I do it. I'm going to start from scratch here, assuming I don't have any encoder or anything. I'm just going to start right from scratch. So I'm going to go to my video manager in YouTube. I'm going to go to live events here on the left. I'm going to create a new live event. I'm going to name it testing for screencast and I'm just going to copy and paste use that same thing for the description and in the tags I'm just going to put testing <clears throat> and I'm going to let it start at 3 p.m. Um, and I'm going to agree to the terms category public entertainment create event <clears throat> okay I can upload a thumbnail if I want for the show here um, but I'm not going to do that right now I'm going to say I'm going to do it at 1080p and you're going to need a decent internet connection it shows you the speeds required in the upload link um, to do that and you can select a 720p or something slower if your internet connection won't support it I'm going to use Wirecast for YouTube. There's two choices here. Wirecast for YouTube is your encoder or Flash Media Encoder. I'm going to use Wirecast for YouTube. They have a link right here that you click on to go and download it. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to get the free one. So it's important that you get this because if you download the, if you go to Wirecast and just download their normal free version, it's going to have a watermark on it. So download this one. I'm going to put it on my desktop. It's version 4.2.6. Do not upgrade to 4.3 because that you'll get the watermark. Okay, so um, I just downloaded that. I'm going to go back to my YouTube screen. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and install the Wirecast. Um, let me see, make sure I get the right one because I have a newer one here too. 4.3. No, I don't want that one. And this one. I think this is the correct one. Yeah, 4.2.6. Okay, so. Don't do not. I made this mistake. I upgraded to the 4.3 and that you get your watermark. So you don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and install this one, at least as of now. So I'm going to say agree. I'm installing it. Okay. I drag it into my. Now this is for Mac, of course, this tutorial. So I dragged it into applications. It's copying it into the applications. It's there. Um, I've already got a shortcut here to Wirecast on my desktop from previously. Oh, it can't be open because it's in the trash. Okay, so i got to redo that shortcut. So I'm going to move that to trash. So I'm going to go to my applications and bring this back over here so you can see it. On Wirecast, I'm going to go ahead and make an alias. And then I'm going to drag that over onto my desktop. I'm going to launch Wirecast now. Go ahead and open it. <clears throat> Newer version of Wirecast exists. Don't do it. Cancel here. You'll get the watermark as far as I can tell. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and add a camera, Logitech camera. having trouble loading that one. I don't know if my camera is being used by another. Let's try this other one. Um, let's get rid of this. Let's delete this shot. Let's try Logica Camera 2. 
Hmm. I'm having trouble loading my camera right now. This could be because my camera is being used by another application or something, so we won't worry about that right now. As you can see, this is a, you got to play around with this some. <clears throat> I'm going to relaunch this program. do not know why my camera is not loading but I'm not going to troubleshoot that now I'm just going to go on with the uh, demo here so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to broadcast canvas size I'm going to make it 1080p and again this is what worked for me so I'm going to click click preview and it takes a little while this is a trick this is something I couldn't figure out you have to do the preview you can't skip it so you click on that and what it does is it spools up and gets everything ready and then the start streaming button that is grayed out now will become darker blue and then you click on that and then you're going to be able to um, to start your stream I'm going to leave all this troubleshooting in the screencast because 
you're probably going to run into some of these same problems. I know it drags out the screencast, but and if you don't run into the problems, then more power to you. And why it's not seeing my cameras right now, I'm not sure on that one. Because I didn't have any problem securing the cameras last time. I'm going to, okay, see. So now it's dark blue. It says start streaming. So if I click start streaming now, it will actually start my live stream broadcast going to my YouTube channel which I'm not going to do right now because I don't have anything I want to broadcast but trust me at this point if you're if you've gotten to this point and you do start streaming it will work um, so so that's that so now I'm going to go back and do a little troubleshooting on Wirecast to see why it's not seeing my camera um, I'm gonna delete this shot I'm gonna launch desktop presenter see if I can get that working full screen okay then I'm gonna add this shot okay so there's my desktop desktop presenters working so now I'm gonna add the camera can delete the blank shot add camera video shoot hmm why is it does it not want to add that camera Well, I bet you if I restarted my computer and then restarted this and added the camera, it would add fine. Something's going funky with my cameras. It's not seeing the cameras right now. These are USB cameras hooked up via USB. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the um, the broadcast now and um, go from there. So CraigShip.com.